Hello friends, welcome to Cinema Academy YouTube channel where we bring for you every day one new problem in the art of problem solving. So here we are, here we are with yet another problem in the art of problem solving. So dear students, as you can see on your screen right now, we have a question where an uh, integration question has been asked, right? But what is different in this question is you actually do not know the function which you have to integrate. Because that function has been written in the form of a puzzle for us, right? So this is exactly what we call in mathematics as functional equation. So they have mentioned the function as a functional equation. So they are not very explicit about the function, rather it is very implicitly mentioned as a functional equation. So first of all, if you want to solve such a question, we need to figure out what is this function actually. Now, there are so many text materials, there are so many resource materials to help you find a functional equation solution but actually, if you see from the core of it, there is no direct method to find it out. So you have to try out, you have to put some special values of the inputs and try to see where are you basically heading for while you are finding the function. So in this case, what we are going to do is, as you can see, there is a functional equation on your screen, which I am highlighting with the yellow color. So in this case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start by substituting x equal to f of y in this functional equation. Okay, so let's put x as f of y. Let's see what happens to our function. So what happens, I end up getting f of x minus x on the left hand side. On the right hand side, I'll end up getting f of x plus x. Now f y is x, so that will become x into x again, which is x squared, plus f of x minus 1, right? So this gives us f0 equal to 2f of x plus x square minus 1, right? Now what is f0 here? f0 is something which we don't know yet. So let's call that f0 as a c because we know for sure it's going to be some constant, right? So let's replace our f0 with a c. So that leaves us with c equal to 2f of x plus x square minus 1. So what is f of x? f of x is going to be c plus 1 minus x squared over 2. All right. Now, without knowing my c, I would not be able to know my function. And without knowing the function, unfortunately, I will not be able to find this integral. So everything is dependent on me finding the value of c. Because once we are done with the c, we know the function completely. And once we know the function completely, there is no stopping from there on. All right. So let's move on. So what I'm going to do next is something which might surprise you. So please, please, please watch this video carefully. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put, I'm going to put my x value. So let's put my x value as let's say something called y1. And let's put the f of y value as y2. Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm basically trying to tamper the input of the left hand side. So as you can see, the, the part which I am circling for you, that x I am going to put as y1 and f of y I am going to put as a y2. Okay, let's see where does it lead to. So, the left hand side becomes f of y1 minus y2, right? What happens to the right side? What happens to the right side? My right side becomes f of y2, right? Plus x, f y. So plus x, y. So x is y1 right here, f y is y2. Isn't it? All right. So now let us put in the value of f of y2. Now see, everybody, please pay attention. This expression gives you an idea of the structure of the function, right? So if f of x is c plus 1 minus x squared by 2, it's very easy to figure out that f of y2 will be c plus 1 minus y2 squared by 2, right? And not only that, f of y1 can also be written in a similar way as c plus 1 minus y2 square by 2. And finally, the minus 1, which is there already in the expression. Now, let us simplify this even further. So, take the value of 2. Let's see what does the numerator pan out to be. So, that becomes something of this nature. Alright. So, this 2 and the 1s, they will happily get cancelled. And I will end up getting 2c on the top. I'll end up getting minus y1 square minus y2 square plus 2y1 y2 whole upon 2, right? 
in case you have any issues please do comment in the comment section and let me know if you are not able to understand any part of it i'll be happy to shoot another video for the same okay so now let's write this term as y1 minus y2 whole square so each of my viewers would agree to me that i can write this as y1 minus y2 the whole square isn't it okay so here we are with the last leg of verification right now i would expect everybody now to listen this out very very carefully so here if you have put y1 minus y2 as your input you are getting the function in terms of y1 minus y2 what does this indicate my dear viewers it indicates that if i put x in place of y1 minus y2 this should ideally give me c minus x squared by 2 right so all i'm doing is i'm changing the input to the function from y1 minus y2 back to x right so when i change it back to x everywhere where there is a y1 minus y2 would automatically get replaced by an x so what does it mean finally so if you see this is let's say the expression of the function and we only had one expression over here let's call this as the two so since one and two correspond to the same may i equate it okay so since one and two relate the same function so can i say c plus one minus x square by two is as good as c minus x square by two yes or no yes or no so let's now figure out what's the value of c for us so here i can see that c plus one by two minus x square by two is c minus x square by two let's happily cancel out x square by two from both the sides so that clearly means c plus one is two c which means c value is a one right now this is a very happy news for us because once we get the c value we know the function completely so what is the function so that implies my function which was earlier c minus x square by 2 now becomes 1 minus x square by 2 right great news let's wind up the problem now by just integrating this function from 0 to 1 so what is the integral of this function from 0 to 1 let's write it down integral of this function from 0 to 1 is as good as saying integrating 1 minus x square by 2 that gives us x minus x cubed by 6 and when you put the limits of integration it just simplifies to 5 upon 6 so the answer to this question is 5 upon 6 and the right option is option number c yes so dear students as you can see in this particular problem the problem was not in integration the problem was actually identifying the function which you want to integrate so this is where the integrand was expressed like a puzzle for us and it was very important to solve that puzzle in order to solve this question. I hope this gave you a good insight on how to deal with functional equations. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy.